I just was going to say in a nutshell um, what our position is as an NEU group, um, union group within the village school and also um, Woodfield School, although the union reps from Woodfield School are also here tonight, so they might want to add things later to that. Um, so um, we, we became concerned um, about this as soon as it was proposed that our school would be turned into a multi-academy trust with Woodfield School. Um, for obvious reasons as staff, because when a school um, leaves local authority control and becomes an academy or a multi-academy trust, um, there's potential repercussions for the terms and conditions of staff and also for the way that the school is governed. Um, which means that potentially staff as stakeholders in the school um, lose a voice that they had in kind of expressing ways in which they feel, you know, the direction that the school should go. Um, so I'm elected staff governor at the school um, and elected any National Education Union rep at the school. Um, at the start of this process I was representing 32 teachers um, I'm now representing 159 members across the school. We've had people taking up membership purely because they're concerned in relation to this, this particular proposal. Um, that 159 members represents nearly all the classroom staff at the school and others in, in various other support roles as well. Um, the, I talked about terms and conditions and governance. Um, one, the other concerns that staff have about this proposal, apart from um, the obvious ones to do with terms and conditions and governance, are various things that have been mentioned in meetings and various forums as part of the consultation process. Um, one of them is that it has been said that there will be a restructure of staff if the multi casual trust happens. Um, another one is that we've seen documents suggesting that departments would be merged across two schools and that people would be working across two schools. Um, but um, none of that information to this point has been backed up with any kind of specific business plan or costings. Um, so we've been told um, things, for example, that um, it would save money becoming a multi-academy trust and help to secure both schools' future because of the money that would be saved in, for example, merging departments or the economies of scale across the two schools. But when we've asked for the figures on that, um, we haven't been given figures on that. And we've asked repeatedly and still not seen the figures on that. And I've asked for them again yesterday and still not received them. So um, we know, for example, that it would cost thousands and thousands of pounds to roll out an ICT network across two schools that are not geographically that close. But we've been told it would save money to do that. If we can see the costings and we would see that it would save money and protect the school for the future, then maybe we would rethink our response to this, but we, we haven't seen that. Um, so as a result, um, we, we've said that we are completely opposed as, as a group of union members of the school to our school becoming a multi-academy trust. Um, and as most of you will probably know by now that we've had six days of industrial action as part of that campaign and there's another five proposed three days after half term and two days the week after that leading up to the day on which the government spoke whether to go ahead with this or not it breaks our hearts as staff in a special school to go on strike and, and to leave our children without their education, even for half a day, one day, let alone the number of days we're doing. We feel guilty every time we see the children when they come back in. Um, contrary to that. that have been doing that job for a long time and still feel completely passionate about mm -hmm. it. The reason that we're doing that is as an absolute last resort because we feel that we've done everything we can to have discussions about this and, and we're not getting answers to our questions. 
Um, just to kind of underline the fact that, that we're not a group of people that just want to be negative and say, no, 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 we don't want this. We have also offered up an alternative model, which was, wouldn't be our kind of ideal future for the school, but we've said that we wouldn't be averse to the school setting up a legal collaboration agreement with Woodfield School or a collaboration company between the village school and Woodfield School. And we feel that that kind of model would facilitate the things that we've been told they want to do for the future of the school. But, but it hasn't really been seriously considered as an option. That, that's gone in the National Education Union response to the consultation and we hope that that will be considered seriously because we are prepared to compromise with that as an option. We haven't said we want everything to stay exactly as it is. We're happy to have deep collaboration. We like Woodfield staff, Woodfield <coughs> staff like us. We work together, we're perfectly happy to be working together with them as a school, but we don't want to become a multi academy trust unless there's solid reasons for doing it and we haven't been given any solid reasons. So that's probably enough for me.